Materia Turei. I just want to address um, the understand the narrowness of the debate on this clause, but I just want I didn't get an opportunity to address the amendment that Sue Moroni had put forward, uh, and in her attempt to find a way to get this bill through with a narrower approach, a more narrow approach to um, to the extension of paid parental leave. And I just want to refer particularly to uh, the issue of children with disabilities and the cost for and the additional um, supports that parents with children with disabilities often need, um, particularly at that very early stage, but also through their life. I would also actually be very interested if the Honourable Ruth Dyson um, had ex experiences to share. If I remember rightly, the Honourable Ruth Dyson ushered uh, the, the government through this, the ratification of the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities, and she may have a unique perspective to bring on this debate as well. So the uh, Com Children's Commissioner's report addressed in their uh, expert advisory group's report on solutions to child poverty, addressed directly the uh, issues that families with children with disabilities and children with parents with disabilities face when it comes to issues of poverty. And I just want to uh, highlight a few of the things that they said there. Um, they noted that there wasn't, enough, there wasn't yet enough information about the effects of poverty on children with disabilities in New Zealand and that the government was intending to gather more information about that. If they are still doing that, that would be wise uh, because those families are particularly vulnerable and they're families that have been identified by Sue Moroni as being particularly vulnerable for the purposes of this bill. Um, the, the expert advisory group had a a paper dedicated especially to this topic and they referred to some research that they could access from the UK, uh, from the Institute for Public Policy Research in the UK, where they talked about their research there showed that there's a two-way relationship between disability and poverty in childhood. Disabled children are among the most likely to experience poverty and poor children are more likely to become disabled than those who are better off. Uh, they went on to say there needs to be a transformation in the quality and accessibility of services for disabled ch children, young people and their families. Uh, so the research from the UK was, sh was talking very clearly about the particular difficulties that families with children with disabilities face in terms of poverty, part of which can be well addressed through extending paid parental leave to these families. Uh, the report from the Children's Commissioner went on to describe child disability in the context of poverty means children and families must cope not only with the disability but with the added challenges of poverty-related health disparities, social disadvantage and extra costs, direct costs, of time, money and resources associated with a child's disability. Now, I understand Sue Moroni's um, attempt to narrow the scope of this bill was because she has identified the particular need that young families or new families with a child with disabilities face and that the ability then to have access to 26 weeks uh, uh, paid parental leave would help to address exactly those costs that this UK research and that the Children's Commissioner's report has identified, the extra costs the direct costs of time, money and resources that are needed to address the whole family uh, as well as the child who has the disability. So the report went on to say that uh, the, the Institute of Public Policy Research published studies from a f uh, findings from a study in the UK to inform policymakers on what the priority should be to maximise the opportunities for people with disabilities through to 2020. So this is an a, a extended piece of research. And their report states that children with disabilities are more likely than non-disabled children to live in poverty, and children with a disabled parent are also more likely to experience poverty. The report concluded that in order to meet the government poverty reduction targets, UK government, tackling the poverty of children with disabilities must be a top government priority. Now this report very clearly describes uh, the importance, the, it describes the particular challenges that families with a child with disabilities face in terms of the social disadvantage, the economic disadvantage, the stress and pressure that 
um, manoeuvring through a range of services uh, creates for that family. And any family with a child with a disability will understand what that means when you're trying to negotiate through a whole range of services. Uh, they went on to say that in order to protect the best, to protect the interests of those children with disabilities in those most fun. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my pleasure to take another call on this debate and uh, 